All right, so let's see here. Uh, we are going to be, we have already written, of course, the, the parse group uh, color stuff and so on. So basically, if we go through what we have right now, bbcss, let's see here. Let's check our simple file. Let me also delete this one. We don't need that, to be honest. We probably don't need git ignore in the buffer list either. And yeah, anyway, let's see here. We can we should be able to parse clear. Uh, we should be able to uh, parse background. We should be able to parse this as well, uh, and so on. Currently, we are not dealing with comments, but that's because we don't, we don't really have a top level kind of parsing function. So that doesn't really make a difference. Let's see here if we can just say, you know, what should this become? Um, because here, Let's see here, uh, space E, W, mm -hmm. uh, hang on, split, no, V split, let's see here, here we actually kind of want to make a corresponding vim file right so let's say simple.vim actually and basically output what we think is what we should think should be there and i'm going to copy what we have in this file here and then we're going to be removing most of that of course right so let's see here we don't need any of this stuff uh high clear should be there and this should be there because of the reset, right? Um, colors name, we don't need, I, I suspect. Uh, set background dark, yes, that should be fine. And here, we only really want normal and identifier. And here I'm gonna go with the choice to always exec. And that might seem like an odd choice a little bit, but I think because we're going to be inserting these values and so on, uh, I think that will be reasonable anyway to do. We're going to do this here. Normal, GUI none, etc. C term FG. I, I can never remember these, to be honest, what they're supposed to be. Uh, C term FG. Is that a thing we can get help with? I think we're gonna have to kind of leave some of this, you know, up to, you know, we're gonna have to output something and then we're gonna kind of see, you know? Um, I think that will be the, the most reasonable thing to do. Now I'm wondering if, actually if it's, if it's reasonable here to, no, no, let me, you know, never mind. I, I thought maybe having some kind of background setting that you could always say, like, this is the default GUI BG setting. But let's not do that, to be honest. Let's just say, you know, never mind, basically, to that. Um, C term FG, I, I guess it's just going to be, let's say, zero for now. I don't have any good argument for anything there, right? So I think it's better if we simply don't do anything interesting there. Uh, hang on, let me close this actually. I don't know why I was editing up there. Uh, we can just use the file here, of course. Um, and GUI FG here. Now, can these be lowercase? That's actually, a, I haven't really looked into that so much. Let's just make them lowercase and that's it, to be honest. EC, 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 that's what we want there. And BG should be 23212E. 23212E, yeah. 
C term BG, no idea. Let's just do uh, zero to be honest, right? I don't really know exactly what that would be. And here I'm actually going to do no spaces here because I don't see the point. This is basically, it's going to be machine generated, right? So all of these uh, don't really matter for that, you know, certainly not for me. Someone else have, might have opinions on, on that, right? Uh, I do not. So I think th that's not going to be relevant. Uh, here we also want, uh, right, we want exec like this. And exec. Because I don't think we can insert um, at signs otherwise. I think I've tried this and it just did not work. It didn't work out. Um, so we're just going to go the exact route and treat this as, you know, this is completely high link. Is that really actually how this is? High link, a warning underlined. Yeah, high link. Yeah, the links. Well, this is actually a good argument for kind of keeping the whole link thing, maybe. Yeah, let's keep link. And we're going to do this based on whether this is a name or not, right? So high link uh, at field identifier is what we should be expecting here. And here we should have Odin variable identifier like this. I think this should, this should be it, basically. We're gonna save that, and then we're gonna work with this, you know? Uh, we're gonna close that window, or that tab, or not, that split, sorry. Uh, and then we're gonna go back here to our parser and make some tests for this, right? So first we should probably, you know, write the, the function that actually does some parsing. Or we could write the test first. Maybe we do the test. Test private package test parse um parse uh, parse file it's really not very ambiguous it's we have a file we expect to read we only have one input type of file so we should be fine regardless um there's no real ambigu ambiguity there um and here i actually want to do something where we say um Let's see here, simple test01, test file01 is going to be hash load, test data, simple. And here we might want to consider actually renaming that. I think that's a good idea. Simple01, simple01 vim. Remove those, that's fine. simple 01.bbcss and this is a string let's see here fail to load file invalid file or cannot be found uh, this would be maybe like this in that case test data yeah so this is relative to the file we're in um, there you go, simple test file one. We don't need any, let's say, simple expected output one. Like this. And yeah, now we can definitely create a tokenizer here based on this. Mm. Well, test parse file, we don't really need the output, obviously. So we could just say, you know, instead, we don't need the tokenizer either, we can just say uh, parse file 
and here we could maybe say uh, wild path or one We're going to pass a file name to this, basically. And here, I suppose, we should really be saying uh, color scheme, right? So color scheme error, like this, right? This is not our return, obviously. Uh, we want to have nil as an error, obviously. Um, and clear should be true, background should be dark, um, len of color scheme highlights. Oh, well, I don't have a type for this, obviously, that's why um, testing expect value t. It should be, let's see, these we don't need um, yeah we should have four in this one if let's see here if len if it is four rather we want to actually go into specifics otherwise we just want to you know have the other error uh, testing expect value T color scheme highlights. Um, yeah, sure, group name, that's true. Uh, here we actually want to. I'm going to paste these here so we just have them normal. This should be a root color pair indeed. Foreground is this, background is this, that's absolutely correct as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, we can also change this, so it's fine. Um, this should not be testing expect value T color scheme highlights group name. field and this one shouldn't really be hex color this right it should be opa uh, group name like this and then it should then be able to figure out that this is also the case here right uh, let's see here uh, parse file does not exist let's just create that one proc uh, data is some string, in fact. File name, we can just, just do data file name string like this. This returns a color scheme or some kind of error, which would be, I guess, a tokenization expectation error, probably. Let's just go with that for now. I don't think it's such a massive deal, regardless. Cannot assign to group color. Group color. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hang on. This is a root color pair. I don't know why I have... Foreground. Like this. That should be fine. This, of course, is not successful. I mean, it cannot be. 
uh, we will see if we can implement it. I mean, we can. I can confidently say we can. Uh, we may have to make some changes and so on, but it's not going to be a big deal, of course. So parsing a file, right? Let's just make a very, we're going to make a stringent kind of setup first where we we basically say like, oh, you have to have clear first, you have to have background after clear and so on. And then we can kind of, you know, write around this stuff. Here we take the data, of course, like this. Um, we create our tokenizer. And by the way, we're gonna just return the color scheme and nil here. Uh, we have our tokenizer now. So let's see what we can do here. Color scheme clear we could definitely be basically this parse clear or return. Let's see, that should be fine. Color scheme. Skip uh, spaces and new line. In fact, uh, and then we parse the background. We skip spaces and new lines. Um, here we could also skip comments. In fact, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. spaces. Yeah, spaces and new lines. We could also skip comments here. Skip comments, I'm going to say here actually. That's going to be a separate function. This won't return anything really. Um, and we will basically let's peek actually. I think that will be the most useful thing here. Uh, so tokenization, tokenizer peak. Peak is a function that basically just takes the tokenizer and says, you know, what is the current token, right? So token, it's going to be that. Uh, this is actually a token, it's not the source token. Um, if, and here we can actually, yeah, is hash, we can say, is hash token uh, tokenization, Hash, I don't think that that exists, in fact. Let's see. Tokenizer. Dash and slash and hash is what we're going to say here. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, I think that will be fine. Uh, we have to remember that we have a peak. Duplicate case. Where is this showing up? Oh. I've already decided that these are... <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, we can actually just skip comments probably here. Tokenizer skip any of. Let's see if that works. I, I'll be honest, I probably wrote that code at some point without actually checking that this makes any sense. I don't think it's actually reasonable for the tokenizer to, to decide that hash is a comment, if I'm being honest. 
For this particular case, we're going to go with this, to be honest. Uh, let's see here. Uh, now, we're parsing clear, skipping spaces, new lines, comments, etc. Uh, we're skipping more. And then we want to read highlights. So color scheme. Four. Let's see here. Highlight. Highlight name. Highlight color and error. Parse highlight or return. Uh, color scheme highlights. So here we actually want a dynamic array set up for us. Uh, here we might take a, an argument actually, an allocator. Uh, which is uh, going to be context.allocator. And we want to set a dynamic array up. We can do this after clear and background to be clear, right? So here we can basically say um, highlights like this. It's going to be make dynamic No, it's a map, right? Map group name group color. And we can say it's zero here initially. Allocator error. Right, so here we actually want to say basically parse error perhaps instead, right? So this is not just a tokenization expectation error, it's a, a parse file error instead. And a parse file error is a union between this and mem allocator error, like this. For now, um, like this. That's all fine. Um, here, of course, we actually don't want to or return, I realize now. Here we want to say if error is equal to taxation unexpected in the file. Sure, break on that, I guess. Um, otherwise, we don't do anything. This is a struct. I might need uh, parens here, but we don't. Oh, hang on. Um, is is end of file? If the error is that, let's just do that. I think that's is end of file. Right, like this. So here we're ending up in a loop, presumably because that for loop actually is uh, not doing the correct thing very likely, right? So let's see what we can figure out about that and so on. 
So we're going to take a look at parse file here again. Uh, if it's, let's say if er is not nil, I want to actually uh, log panic f. Let's just do this for now and see what that actually gives us. Panic, panic log f. Two fifty two. Well, this is this one. Um, here I'm a little bit curious. Did we set up logging? No, we did not. Uh, context logger. Let's see. Expected token, expected colon, actual new line. Let's see here. That's on line four. Uh, let's see, simple. Expected colon, got new line on line four. Oh, that's uh, interesting, right? There's really only one place we're expecting anything like this. Parse group name is doing what here exactly? We are reading until a colon, new line, or this, right? So let's see here if we can just debug f name string, right? Let's see what that contains because I suspect here that there's something going on. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, right. Right, we have to skip here actually tokenization skip any of and here we actually want to do tokenizer We're not going to skip spaces here, actually, I think. Name string is normal. Unexpected better. Expect the colon actual space. Yeah, we can. So here we probably shouldn't expect the colon here then, I guess. No, 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 no. Actually, let's not do the skip here. Uh, let's instead skip tokenization. Yeah, skip any of spaces. Actually, hang on. No, hang on. In parse file, unexpected error, expected colon, actual new line on line 4 column 26 so we're on line 4 here 
and 26 there. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, necessarily. I think I'm looking in the wrong place at the moment. Right, because we are now parse highlights, right? This is actually what's going on here. We have passed colon, expected colon. We're parsing a group name. Which should be here. Read string until. And again, name string here should really be this, you know? Let's watch here. So we're parsing an empty. That does not make a lot of sense to me necessarily. Let's see here. Uh, tokenizer read uh, string until, and then to a colon, new line, etc. Certainly, we should be expecting this to. Um, find the colon right so now my question here is what we use parse group name now the question here is name is this actually can we see that here we can see the name is normal but then it's empty so clearly there's something going on there which could be actually let's see here if we can log debug f color we could be reading pairs we are in fact reading ec 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 etc and then we're getting an empty name and so here we should probably uh, expect new lines maybe we, we can skip new lines, in fact. Let's uh, skip spaces, tabs, new lines, comment here. Unexpected character at. That would probably be, yeah. Comment. Let's just add this at the bottom, to be honest. Right, we're parsing a few things here, but where is, where are we ending up here now? That's curious, right? We are uh, we're seg faulting somewhere. We read old invariable color identifier, etc. So we're clearly passing this point. Parse parse highlight. We're passing through, right? So we're effectively actually doing the four here, right? We're doing this one. Right. And here we might say log debug f finito like this. And we might also say
let's do this. Holding variable highlight color identifier. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, looking reasonable, I think. We're never reaching finito, however. So clearly that's uh, a problem, right? We're never reaching this is end of file. Log debug f er. Yeah, we're never reaching this, okay. This means, of course, we have to force that to happen somehow, right? Um, and here we can, of course, say parse group name. Highlight name is empty, highlight color is nil. The error is expected token, in fact. Should say error here, by the way. Don't particularly love these shortenings. Um, this is expected token. Uh, we can work with that, to be honest. Um, it's really not uh, a big deal here. We are, in fact, uh, that is what we're expecting. If let's see here, highlight. Four out of five successful, which means, yeah, we're at least finishing stuff, right? We can see here is expected token. We're hitting that uh, expected four got zero. Um, that is, in fact, because we're never setting anything at all. Um, we should here actually say uh, color scheme highlight highlights e equals make map. The reason we did this other thing before uh, was mostly because um, I thought we were we were we needed a dynamic map and we do not or a dynamic array rather. Here we can see that yeah, tests pass, everything seems fine. Uh, we're thirty nine minutes into this particular segment. Uh, let's see if we can throw something more at this. Perhaps I'm not sure. We, we would need more test files and I'm not entirely sure I want to write more test files at the moment. So basically just to recap what we have right now is we have this here, right? Turns into this. And that is a good start, to be honest. I, 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 I like this. We're going to be fine with that start for sure. It's shaping up. This four here is really parse highlights. And of course, here we could, we could try to split this out 
in fact. But I don't know that we need to, to be honest. Not that big a deal. These tests seem to be, they seem to make sense. Ah, hang on, we don't have the output yet. No, 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 no. We have the parsing. So we're gonna add the output, in fact. We're basically gonna write the, the inverse here, take the data type and output it to a file. We have parse file right now. What we want is basically output file. Yeah, let's do that. Um, output file is a procedure that takes a color scheme, right? And a file name, I suppose. And uh, returns. Well, we don't need any allocator error, certainly. Um, we can say an error that is an OS erno for now. Um, yeah, let's do that. I don't like erno, to be honest. We probably should just translate errors in, in reality, but we're, we're gonna work with erno for now. Um, Ah, or no, like this. Um, that's that, and then we want to test for this. Well, no, 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 hang on. Uh, let's see, actually, let's write a serialize color scheme. Output color scheme. Let's make this not always or no, in fact. Let's say that it's a uh, string. Instead, I think that will be better. In fact, I'm fairly certain this will be better. Uh, I do think that this should take an allocator now because we're probably going to use a string builder and we're going to build up that string and so on. Uh, so I think that will be useful. B is going to be a strings builder like this, and we are going to piece by piece actually do this, right? So here, B right clear, sure. Uh, actually, it's not going to be B right, uh, sorry. Strings right string like this. And we're going to take the value. Uh, here we can do a T printf. Yeah, we're gonna do it that, like this actually. Right string takes nothing like this. Uh, we probably need the strings init builder, builder init. Uh, let's init none with our allocator like this. Uh, this returns possible error, which is an allocator error in fact, yeah. res a pointer to a builder I don't think we need that one to be completely honest but we'll see what it needs um, error then allocator error like this and now we can continue with our stuff here background Take that and I'll put this. Um, there should be an S here. It would have been fine regardless, but you know. So for 
name and color I suppose I think it's KV I, I don't color scheme highlights right uh, here we actually want to check what the color is uh, in fact So I think we should switch C in color immediately. And if it's a case root color pair, we want to strings right string B T print F. Uh, yeah, sure. A string and then a string. But here we also want quotes, in fact, like this. And that's going to be the name that we have, the group name. And then C dot foreground, certainly, indeed. We could have split this into several lines, by the way. And if we have a background, we want to output that as well. We want a comma, in fact, and that's what we're doing here. So that's fine, I think. And in the other case, where we have a case group name, like this, we want strings, right, string, b, t, printf. Uh, here we can actually do Let's see here. Let's go to our file, right? Because we have, we have our Vim file here. Exec. Um, hi. Oh, we need exec, of course. Yes, uh, that's right. Exec. Oh, we need a bunch of stuff. I don't know why I thought. Let's just do this. Uh, we're gonna put this in a comment here, and then we're gonna strings, right, string. We're gonna split it out into multiple. Exec. Uh, this was a high. We want, yeah, high normal. Okay, yeah, yeah. That actually makes sense. Um, hang on. Exec quoted high right, and then the group name. What? What am I missing here? What are you doing? Syntax error. Um, hang on, I'm missing something obvious here, obviously. Uh, let's just do this for now. Okay, I think it was just syntax highlighting being just strange, I guess. Uh, here we're gonna just output the actual name. We don't need anything else really, um, I think. If I save here, we should see. Uh, this is actually, group name is a string, so we should be able to. No, uh, like this. And here we can actually just say C dot foreground indeed. And here we want an if, right? So if C background is not this, we want to do this else none.
I guess. I don't really have an example, I guess, of this, to be honest, right? Oh, we don't really need the output of that at all, actually. Let's try that, to be honest. Let's see that, whether this works or not, you know? And here we don't really need these quotes. I don't know why I've decided to have those there. C term FG is zero and then GUI BG if background is not uh, GUI BG Otherwise, we're just going to not do any of that. Yeah, let's do this. And if it's a group name, we actually instead want this high link, right? like this uh, and so here we can do strings right right string exec high link yeah and then string of the name yeah right string of C yeah because C here is a group name Let's see here of type hex color uh, right string on that basically hex color is a string so we can cast it it's a distinct string Here we can do strings, right string, new line, because we want a new line at the end. Uh, and we can say builder output, builder. We can just do two string here, I, I think. Indeed, we can. That returns just a string, so that's fine. Cannot assign value. Uh, ba, ba, ba. This just takes the builder, if, in fact. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now we can test this. Um, test private package. Test output uh, color scheme. Test file simple bvcss. Um, expected output file path l1. Um, dot vim like this Testing procedures must have the signature, blah, blah. I'm missing that. Testing T, T, testing T. Yeah. Ah, I accidentally have this here, of course. Five out of six, 
x uh, here. Let's see. We of course have we have some high clear. Oh, I never output that. Of course. Right. I don't know why this. <laughs> let's see. Uh, if color scheme clear. Um, high clear like this and here we actually want this funky thing here um, let's just say let's just say clear output output string is going to be in fact several things like this right and we can actually stuff all of this stuff in here I'm gonna just actually let's do a new line there The background is really if has GUI running, etc. Um, if let's do this with if has GUI running. New line, of course. And set background, absolutely, it sounds good. And sure, we can switch here because obviously we will have case background dark, etc. Uh, that seems fine. Case background light, light, etc. None. I, I don't really know what we would do in this case. Uh, let's see, FTT. Panic if. And here we want an end if also. Right, we want a new line and an end if. And a new line. Indeed. We can also toss in another new line there. Uh, here, end if, end if, new line. We probably want yet another new line actually here. Uh, let's put that in between like this five out of six. Oh, these are not going to work here we're going to have to do this new lines do not work unless you have literal actual new lines Like this right so we can see here by the way we, we don't have any new lines in between the XX so clearly that's something in our for loop we need a new line in fact uh, here We don't close these either in the link case. So that's something to look at as well. Here we have an extra space, C term FG. Let's do the 
do it like this. We can see here that the output looks reasonably good, to be honest. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. We probably need hashes here, right? Yeah, yeah, we need hashes. Absolutely, we do. Simple vim. Uh, we have also this here uh, has uppercase and so on. So we want to do that as well. So let's output hashes before we output the actual color values, right? That, that will be here and will be here as well. If version this high clear, yeah, and then a new line syntax reason to then defend if if has Google running set background dark, exec high link golden variable identifier. Ah, we are obviously doing this in a different order. That is important, actually. That is something we have to. Okay, yeah, yeah, that would. That is definitely a thing. We might consider not using a map for this in that case, because I do want the order. Obviously, the order is important. Um, we could build a dependency tree here, but I, I don't want to do this to be honest. Uh, I don't think that that's necessarily what we want. Um, let's go to one of the basic assumptions here and just say probably not this, right? Uh, let's just say instead a rule is a struct that has a name, uh, which is a group name, and a color, which is a, this, right? And here we're going to do effectively just a rule like this. And let's call that rules actually. This is now parse rule. For um, rule in this, and here we can actually say, because we had name and color, right? So we're gonna basically say now that name is rule name like this. This is now rules. And here, of course, this is no longer this at all. And here we do want uh, underscore rules, in fact, instead. So this is now a dynamic of rule instead. And we append here now, append to our rules a rule with this content and here we actually want to slice into the our rules uh, rules like this and this now is a color oh no never mind actually we want to say color scheme rules is equal to rules sliced like this Undeclared name, underscore rules, that's fine. We're making a new one, that's fine. Parse highlight doesn't exist anymore, it's parse rules. Assignment count mismatch, and this is now just a, a rule. Rule error. Rule. Uh, da, 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 da. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is rules. Uh, 
now parse rule yeah, yeah parse rule obviously which still has rule name and rule color like this name rule color okay that's fine color scheme rules the len is going to be fine and here the lookup actually can't can't work like this obviously what we're instead going to say is we are going to compare these slice right this doesn't work anymore so we're going to say slice comp can we do that color scheme rules No, that does not work. Um, okay, let's let's go with uh, expected rules is going to be equal to a slice of rules. Yeah. I think that's fine. This is declared but not used. Uh, and here we can actually say len of if, if that's not equal to uh, len expected rules, then or if it is rather, right? Uh, and here we can do this. Uh, for i in 0 to and equals uh, or less than rather um, then uh, for expectation in expected rules and also let's stick an i on that right testing expect value t It's not gonna work, right? They're not comparable. Oh, okay, this is doing stuff. Um, oh, th is this the only test? It's not. Okay, that other stuff works now. Um, now we're getting normal. We're getting identifier. We're not getting spaces between here. Maybe that's an issue. I don't remember what I did there. Uh, simple vim we have a, a new line here and I kind of want that to be honest so let's just do that ah uh, no actually let's not do that let's just say there's no space between these so um, in this particular case I think we should probably not use value here right so let's actually do this if right if um, output is not expected output we want to actually loop through here and, and look at you know where is the difference um, I see in I think it's CI right in output
right. Can I make that like this? A rune and U8, uh, indeed. Right, let's um, Let's just uh, actually get some context around this, right? Um, let's, just, let's just do the whole line, right? Entire line. Ah, string read line. What is this? No, 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 no. Don't really want last. Uh, actually, hmm. Last new line in Wix. Let's just do this and I want to set that to this and then we're going to say exactly. Mm. Let's do this. Yeah, I think that that could work here. Line twelve. Uh, what is our entire output? Let's say this, and then output percent s. Right. And then we're gonna basically just take our entire output like this. So we can get all of that good context. Um, and here we have exec high, exec high. Not sure what that really is supposed to be about. My first of all, I have too many new lines down here, right? I think that's probably a thing. Um, let's see here if we can. This end if is there, that's fine. Maybe we, we remove this one. And that, no, we need that one. That's for every rule, right? Uh, 
And we do have, in our expected version, we have certainly one new line down there. Now I'm actually wondering a little bit, where is this extra new line coming from? That is a little bit odd, right? So the extra new line we have in our output, right? We're outputting this, and this is a link. So we're, we have a group name. And the thing is, we're not outputting any excessive new lines there, so that it's not caused by that. We're outputting our normal new line after this, right? What happens when I do this? Okay, we're getting the appropriate amount of new lines here. Okay, um, that's fine then. Let's start at the beginning. Line 12, of course, right? So 1, 12 here. Fast GUI is running high normal GUI FG easy 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 C term FG zero GUI BG two three two one two E C term BG zero GUI none C term none end quote and then it's done. Now well, that's a little bit. Oh, I can immediately see here that that it's this is an identifier. Uh, that was never going <laughs> to make sense. Um, other than that, what else is there? So here, our expected version is high identifier GUI FG 46F2 F2, C term FG, and then we have C term BG. Do we actually not need to set this? Because I would rather not. I mean, let's let's try that. Uh, let's try removing that entirely from our things because I would rather not, right? Like this and C term FG we can simply basically skip outputting I guess. Ah, there you go. So now we're getting the correct output for this, right? Um, yeah, let's just go with that. Uh, let's say output I want to see the actual output just once uh, here. Log debug f output uh, and here I like doing this because it's much much clearer in terms of what you're actually looking at oh the new extra new line was from there um, but okay this is looking good. We have high clear, we have the if version, etc. We have this, and then we basically set up these normal groups first, and then we set up links and so on. I, I like this. Okay. Uh, that's going to be this, right? That's going to be it for those. Uh, feet add uh, output 
parsing output of color scheme. Let's see here. Okay, that's it for this segment. It's one hour and twenty minutes, so we're gonna we're gonna stop there. Um, now we have basically we parse the file, we can output the file, and so on. Potentially, this file can now be saved uh, as a color scheme, and so on. So probably what we're gonna be end, ending up doing now is kind of seeing that like build up an actual file. See, does Vim had have any problems with this file and so on? Uh, so we can actually play around with this, and and you know. Um, Effectively, we're going to have reached something that actually works, and so on. Uh, maybe set up a few more tests when we find bugs and so on, um, and that's it. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you in the next one.